Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part something of uh, 1741. I had some malfunction. I was about eight minutes in or something of, of this particular video, and it just uh, it just stopped working, so I had to go back. And uh, that's one thing that I, is frustrating. If, if I am significantly into a video, and I'll say eight minutes is, it's because I don't watch these videos beforehand and try to think of what I'm going to say. It's a very off the cuff and um i try to be honest and genuine and arnold schwarzenegger governor swear to god that guy does that publicly like you know so i had to i had to go back i didn't know and guys it ends up in the in the craziest shit andrew is on a very dark and wicked path this is like peak wickedness when you're telling people that there's sex magic where women have coins basically like they're born with magic and the more they don't have sex the more magic your heart, you, you have to keep... Hold on, what? I missed that one. And the more men conquer, the more bodies that... Yeah, this is like peak wickedness. When you're telling people that there's sex magic where women have coins, basically, like they're born with magic, and the more they don't have sex, the more magic they have, and the more... Okay, see, this is one thing that I'm going to just flat out disagree with. I'm going to be honest with this. I bet I've... I bet I think this is I've already seen this. We've already gone through this, but um, yeah, no, it's part of your soul. You lose something because there is a connection between you and the person that you uh, are having sex with. And so you are losing a piece of you, in my opinion. And so for him to say what he's saying right now, because it's, it's double speak. If you listen to what he's saying, it is complete and utter double, uh, double speak because he's saying, no, it is. Believe me. Believe me. In Hollywood, I know people that do this. And then he's in the in the next hand. He's like, not, none of it's real. It doesn't make any sense. You do lose a piece of yourself. Now, whether or not uh, you get it back or whatever, I have no idea. But you, you can, you can, there's a difference between people that um, live that life. If you see a 50 year old woman who has lived that life compared to a 50 year old woman that did not live that life. They are different people. Now, there could be similarities if, if they, whatever, I'm not going to go down that road. But it is, to me, it's obvious. And for him to downplay it is uh, dangerous. Probably more dangerous than what Andrew Tate's saying, in my opinion. Men conquer the more bodies that, it's not true. They, men used to think that the more they killed and the more they could drink the blood of their enemies, the more powerful they got. I know a lot of guys that have killed a lot of guys. No, your heart, you, you have to carry demons the rest of your life. It's fucking terrible. Like you don't get power from killing dudes. You don't get power. And people go, oh, isn't he Muslim? Islam, the punishment for a man to fornicate is the same as a woman. One of the biggest spells ever is that Islam is anti-woman. A man can't, if a man cheats on his wife, it's the same. One of the biggest spells about Muslim Islam is that it's anti-woman. Is that? I punishment is if a woman cheats on her husband in Sharia law. Like, you don't get to fuck endlessly. Like, only your wife. Now it's like they believe that you can have multiple wives. That's a bizarre thing to say. Uh, the, the way he said that, you don't get to blank endlessly. Hmm. Um, you shouldn't. But that's one of the uh, natural aspects of, of uh, this, this earth, this world, is that you're pretty much free to do whatever you want to. Now, sure, is earth are some things e illegal and whatnot, frowned upon? Absolutely. But that's one of the, it's one of the beauties about being, a, being able to turn and say, hey, I have faith in, uh, in, in this, in goodness. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Having the freedom to do whatever you want to and then still turn. Yeah. Like certain uh, sects of Mormonism. Um, but they don't believe you can just fuck. Like what he's saying here is completely not Islamic. Endless women, then dudes, then stuff your ass. Yeah, totally. Andrew, uh, and he absolutely should not be promoting this to the, uh, the youth. FYI, this is real. Sex magic always turns people gay or worse. It's fucking bad because you're... And one thing I've, I've found is what happens is 
having sex with a ton of women for a long period of time without ever getting off that treadmill, it makes you feminine and gay. It's why Andrew dresses the way he does. It's why Joe Rogan's a fucking fruitcake. You would not, you don't, you wouldn't even believe the other guys I now know that are gay. It's so sad. That's a that's a stupid and dangerous blanket statement because that's not necessarily true. Is it true in certain aspects? Sure, but that's not. No, one of it. It makes you. Um, it makes you weak. You ever talk to a fifty year old that did live that lifestyle and still does, and then you talk to a fifty year old that didn't? There's an obvious difference, and it doesn't necessarily. It's not necessarily what he's saying. And it's kind of funny how, because I'm not sticking up for Andrew or uh, Joe Rogan. Andrew Tate or Joe Rogan. They don't need me to stand up for them, obviously. But for Owen Benjamin Owen Benjamin to be accusing other men, those two of being less masculine than he is? I'm, I'm actually not a gossip, though. If it's not in plain sight, I'm not going to tell people about shit. But it's fucking so weird just to know... Some of these guys are like fucking fruitcakes now. It's so fucking dark. But anyway, and women, when they hook up with a lot of guys, they become more masculine. So there is some truth to this where when women sleep with a lot of men, they just become more and more tough and hard, hardened. Women, men become more fruitcake, more feminine, more emotional, more narcissistic, but in like a female way. They like to preen and, and, and uh, peacock and they want all their bugoris. You know, they become like a woman. Like these guys are very feminine. So, like, if you look at Andrew Tate with his $800 slippers and stuff, that's how women act. It's not how men are supposed to act. Now, you can look nice. It's okay to uh, to dress presentable and, you know, try to uh, dress in a certain class and blah, blah. But if you're super into your, you know, like, you bleach your asshole and stuff like that, like these guys do, you're fucking gay, dude. You're gay. And, um, and I've seen it with so many of these famous guys. It's like, I'm not just saying they're gay. All of that is weird. <laughs> I know I was being uh, extremely quiet while he was saying that, but that that's all that kind of, I mean, that's just strange behavior. They used to, what did they used to call them? Metrosexuals? The ones that would uh, wax and highlight their hair and get manicures and pedicures and all that kind of stuff. Like funny, they're gay. They literally are gay. Like I have been confirmed recently. Some of the guys I know, he said, I have been confirmed. It wasn't confirmed to me. I have been confirmed. I have been confirmed is what he just said. Good for you. Are you still single? No, I got a girl. Really? Yeah. Your your uh your your love life's always been fascinating to me. Uh, yeah, it's I'm psychotic. No, I got I uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think I'm with a girl now that's really awesome. Single? No, I got a girl. Really? Yeah. Your your uh your your love life's always been fascinating to me. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm psychotic. No, I got I uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think I'm with a girl now that's really awesome. I bet she's gorgeous. I'm with a girl now. <laughs> I bet she's gorgeous. That was a strange interaction. Especially coming from Bert. He just said, I've been confirmed, not, it was confirmed to me. Are fucking legit homosexuals now. And they didn't used to be. And it's all because they're in this fucking world. They're doing sex magic. Sex magic ends up with, like, crazy, like what Vivian uh, Kubrick was talking about, where his, her dad's friend raped her when she was 13. And then that super famous actor with the daughter was getting raped at 10. This is how this happens. They just can't stop. So it starts with like, and I think I have an idea who that daughter was. I don't know, though. I don't want to spread rumors, but it's pretty obvious if you look at Hollywood and you think, gee, who had a super famous dad that's now a relatively famous one? You know, you can see it. Maybe is it gay if you'd rather work than be in a relationship with a woman? No, it's gay if you want to fuck a guy. There's, uh, somebody's asked him that same question. And I, I'm pretty sure he has made multiple statements that if no, he does because he talk he that's what he that's how he accuses people. Oh, he's in his thirties and he he's not married with children. And so I mean his his opinion very much changes based on what the situation is. And I'm not saying that's necessarily wrong, but for there never to be any consistency is very. Is, is not, I don't want to say very, but 
just sloppy. Okay. But anyway, so they, they just keep escalating. So it starts off with like, you're famous, you're doing it right, you're dating women. So why not settle down with a great woman? Why do you want more and more women? It's because you think you're getting power from them. You're not. You're losing your power. Because what it should be is high status men with wealth and power should get high quality women. Like what I did with Amy. You understand? You're not supposed to be with endless women because then you end up a fr fucking fruitcake. Because what it should be is high status men with wealth and power should get high quality women. Like what I did with Amy. You understand? You're not <laughs> I don't know why, but that aggravates me so much whenever somebody, you understand? I understand that this conversation's over. <laughs> it's just the way. Because, I mean, in a learning environment, there's a way of, of saying that. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to? Okay, yeah. And then you understand? It's like a... It's part of his rhetoric. It's part of his spellcraft saying, you understand? Cause you just, you automatically, whenever somebody's talking to you aggressively, you just want to say yes. And so whenever you yes, say yes, that's an agreement and they can move on what they said. It doesn't matter what they said because you've already agreed to it. That's why it's so important. No is such an important word. Whenever you're dealing with people like this, situations like this, no, no, we don't understand how, how, sta how status, how, how, how powerful, uh, whatever men i mean mid middle you would call it middle class in la the roles that he was in and the the his ability which i think the highest um that he ever was is status wise was whenever he was on that sitcom in my opinion in the comedian world having a sitcom at least back in the day was i mean right there but having your own was where it was at but even being a recurring role uh, having a reoccurring role was i mean that's that's i don't think that's anything to just like tip your nose to like look at look down upon and then she is um like a high school graduate with a degree in what was it um building something what i can't, I can't you know, i'll keep wanting to say physics but it's definitely not physics anyways i'm supposed to be with endless women because then you end up a fr fucking fruitcake you know see that's just a stupid thing to say you, it, being with countless women makes you a fruitcake there's some truth to that but that's not a i mean no it makes you void it uh brings you emptiness it's a it's a very lonely place to be who is it, BB? I'm not going to start rumors. I don't know. Vivian never told me, but I'm pretty good at pattern recognition. I can, I'm uh, Shylock Holmes. Just fucking figure it out yourself. I, I can't spill the beans because I don't want to start rumors, and uh, it is what it is, but you can figure it out. Just look at the Hollywood families. Look at the royalty. Figure it out. Look who ended up fucked up. Look who ended up a little bit wacky. Somebody that's doing wacky shit. Okay? So, and I, there's some uh, people in this chat that are... Nobody can understand what he's, who he's talking about because nobody really understands what he means by who's doing wacky stuff. Our children of Hollywood, and they'll tell you the same thing. It starts off with, like, they get a lot of attention from women. I know this. I've been in the sex magic world without even realizing it, where I was like, I'd hook up with a girl uh, that I didn't know at all in, like, some very unique situation that men would never be able to get, like, low-status men would never be able to get. It made me feel good about myself. And I felt like I got a little power from it. Low status men would never be able to get. That's part of his elitist talk. That's how he looks at himself. Low status men would never be able to get this. <laughs> oh, man. And then you go on and you like get a little extra kick. Like, I'm the man. I was just fucking, you know, I was just... These girls all want me like, oh, it's like in this crazy situation, like you're on a train or I'm just making shit up. You know what I'm saying? And what? that just keeps what And you go on and you like get a little extra kick. Like I'm the man. I was just fucking, you know, I was just these girls all want me like, oh, it's like in this crazy situation, like you're on a train or I'm just making shit up. You know, like you're on a train. What does that mean? Words matter. I'm saying. And that just keeps going until your fucking heart starts closing. Like you're, you're not like a good person anymore. Yeah, it hardens your heart. Yeah. And I was never on that road 
No, like when you look at Chris D'Elia, I actually have some. He just talked about how he was on that road, and then he just says, I wasn't ever on that road. I personally was on that road. Never say that I wasn't. That's, I mean, that's so crazy. In one sentence, just talk, oh, I was on a train. And then say, I was never on that road. There's something that he's 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 running away from, in my opinion. Sympathy for that guy, because that's 100% where he's at. Where he was like trying to get 16-year-old high school girls, 17-year-old. Who? Like, you're, you're not like a good person anymore. And I was never on that road. Like, when you look at Chris D'Elia, I actually have some sympathy for that guy. That- oh, Chris D'Elia. Yeah. That's someone that is, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a hundred percent where he's at, where he was like trying to get 16 year old high school girls, 17 year old high school girls, because he wanted them as pure as he could get them, as young as he could get them. He wasn't. Now notice what he just said. I have sympathy for him because of this. A pedophile. Cause I consider pedophilia prepubescent. Well, that's the definition of PDF computer file, prepubescent. That is the, de- there's, there's a word for that, for uh, children. There's a word for, um, I don't know if there's a separate word for uh, like just right before prepubescent, but I think that's all one word. That is the PDF computer file. And then there's another word for early teens. And then there's a term for late teens. And it's, I'm talking about just straight up dictionarial um definitions of that and it's all used under one pdf computer file term um the difference between 16 17 and 18 isn't that it really a a magical angel doesn't come come down at 18 and make you an adult you know fornication is fornication whether or not they're 25 or fucking 16 you're still robbing somebody you see what he just said with that because if you say there's not that much of a difference between a 16 17 and 18 year old i would tend to agree with that 16, 17, 18, that's understandable. That's an understandable thing to say. Now, whenever you, he immediately jumped from 25 to 16 directly after that though. And then we've already heard him say in another stream, 35 and 14. And so that's, that's the wizardry. That's the rhetoric. That's the spellcraft of Owen Benjamin. That's how easily that it could, it could just escalate of something if you don't want to be with them if you don't want to commit to them this is why marriage is so important and so he's just in this black hole you can see in his eyes the is a perv you can tell but i think it- this is the texas goat radio show and i'm your host Matorius. as always till next time